Get ready for an Adams Archives Studio Master. Welcome, creeps, to Secrets of the Crypt Keeper's Haunted House. <laughs> Greetings from Universal Studios Florida, kiddies. It's Secrets of the Crypt Keeper's Haunted House. <laughs> Battling ghosts and surviving slimy swamps, where every room presents another morbid challenge, another eerie and impossible mission for all those snoopy kids who dare to enter my chambers of horror. <laughs> Here's Steve Saunders! Welcome to the adventure game that forces you to face your fears. This is Secrets of the Crypt Keeper's Haunted House, the adventure game that pits two teams of two players each in five different challenges. The name of the game is to score as many points as possible. Right now, give it up for the daredevils that are going head to head with Keith. Representing the crabs, here's Amanda Hickok, a native of Norfolk, Virginia, and Robert Lynch, a native of Stratford, New Jersey. They'll do battle against the squids. Here's the brother-sister combo of Michael and Cheryl Strzelka, natives of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Great balls of fire! Our first challenge is a hot one. Come check out Fireball Alley. Come on, crabs, get down here. Amanda, you ready? Robert, are you ready? You guys psyched? You fired up? Because Digger the Skull is gonna try and knock down these headstones with his fireballs. Hey, for every tombstone left standing, you are in the right to answer a question. For every correct answer, you're gonna get five points. But be careful. Digger's fireballs could knock you off the bridge and get you vaporized. Let's see your game face. Good enough, man. Get going. Fireball Alley. Okay, kiddies. It's time to rot and roll again! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bobby boy! Welcome aboard! Ready for a little fireball alley? Yep. Hmm? yep. Are you a soft shell or hard shell crab? Who knows? <laughs> Let's play! Here goes! <laughs> It's time to get crabby, Robert. Come on, yeah. get your claws up and protect those headstones from Digger's fireballs. Look down. And whatever you do, don't listen to him because it's a long way down. You don't want to get vaporized. No. Remember, the more headstones you keep up, the more questions you're going to get. Come on. You're doing great. Is it over yet? The crabs keep four heads still standing. Here come four questions. He cheated. Oh, I only got two. Now you made me crabby. Ready for a little quiz, kids? Yep. Hey, welcome aboard, Amanda. Hi. Nice smile. That won't last long. <laughs> Gonna ask you a couple of questions now. Are you ready? Yes. These are things in common. Amanda, you'll give the answers. Number one, bit, bridle, reins, cinch. Answer, please. Water. Oh, I'm sorry, those are things to do with a horse. Yes! Okay, number two, balance beam, uneven bars, pommel horse, Stationary rings. Gymnastics. Yes, excellent. A comeback. Right. Number three. Erie. Huron. Ontario. Superior. Countries. No. Those great lakes. Four of the Great Lakes. Question number four. <laughs> Horseless carriage. Tim Lizzie. Sedan. Coop. Cars? Cars! Yes! Way to go, crabs! Have fun the rest of the way. The crabs are in the house with ten points. Next. <laughs> I'm hungry for my favorite dish, Squid a la Fireball Alley. <laughs> Hi, my 
Mikey. Hi. Ready for a little game? You're on. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Mike, the name of the game is to protect those headstones behind you, buddy. Remember, you're a squid, so use your tentacles. Don't listen to Digger. Keep your balance. You don't want to fall off the suspension bridge. That first step's a doozy. Do it, Digger. What's taking so long? You're doing great, Mike. Keep it up. Yeah, I want to be like Mike. The squids keep four headstones up. Here come four questions. This kid is not making my day. Good work, my kid. Oh, here comes your sister Cheryl to help you. Ready for a little quiz, kids? Yep. Ready. Okay. These are going to be things in common. Okay. Ready? Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Shears. Oh. Tools a farmer uses? Hmm. Yeah, Gardening okay. Gardening, yeah. I'm not amused. Number two. Grand Canyon. Petrified Forest. Tucson. Phoenix. Sugar, why are you here? No, I don't know. Oh. Those are all places in Arizona. <laughs> Zappo! Number three. Zeus, Atlas, Apollo, Poseidon. Mythical creatures? Yes! Mythology yeah. gods, we gods. Like me. Okay, number four. Crater, magma, cinder cone, Lava. Parts of the Earth? Can you be a little more specific? The Earth's layers? Mm -hmm. They're all parts of a volcano. You are so close. <laughs> very, very good. Here's looking at you, Swiss. <laughs> Squids, come out here and talk to me. Michael, how's it going, buddy? Cheryl, give it up. All right, hey, Michael, I uh, almost lost it there. It looked like you were dancing with Elvis for a while, huh? <laughs> How close did you come to falling off? That close. <laughs> That's that close. And Cheryl, you guys had a little trouble with the Q&A session. Two yeah. right, two wrong. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Of course <laughs> you guys are. You should be. We're all tied up. At the end of one fright, the crabs and the squids are deadlocked at 10 points apiece. CK, what you got for us now? This segment is called The Swamp from Hell. That's right, old crusty one. This challenge ends here in the Swamp from Hell with a deadly walk across the bridge. But first, we're going to the graveyard for part one. Amanda, the crabs. You ready to do this? Yeah. You know what to do, right? I want you to jump. Okay. You're a jumping crab now. Okay. And your partner's in the house, hanging out. What's up, Robert? Nothing, really. No? It's a long way down, buddy. Don't look down, okay? Okay. Cheer on Amanda. She's gonna need your help. Okay. When I say jump, jump. On your mark, get set, jump. All right. 15 seconds to get down as many skulls as possible for each cluster she gets down. She's gonna get a bag of them once she gets in the swamp. She then has one minute to transport those bags from one end of the swamp to the other. Five points for each bag in hopes that Robert doesn't turn into a steam crab. Amanda, in the house you go. Get going. Come on, Robert. That swamp is full of snakes, crocodiles, and deadly flesh-eating piranha fish. And that's the fun part! <laughs> okay, Amanda knocked down three groups of skulls, so she's got three bags waiting for her right there in the swamp bridge. Remember, she's got one minute to take those bags across the bridge to the other side. While Robert's hanging out there above the lava oh. swamp, one bag is worth five points, she's got two across, so that's ten points. She needs to go back and get the other one before her partner turns in the crab soup. Whoa! Watch your step. Oh no, it's a lava bath, she's vaporized. I die for times like these. Robert, say goodbye to your teammate. Goodbye, Amanda. All right, give it up for the squiz. What's up, Cheryl? Nothing. The squiz jump. That's so nice. That's a good attitude. Hey, where's your brother at? In the cage. In the cage, <laughs> hanging out above this lava swamp. What's up, Michael? 
pretty much me right now. Good answer, buddy. Hey, cheer on your sister, okay? She's gonna need some help. All right. 15 seconds. When I say jump, jump. On your mark, get set, jump. Come on, Cheryl. There she goes. She needs yeah. to get down as many clusters as possible. Breach, once she gets down, she's gonna get a bag of them once she gets in the swamp. She then has a minute to get them from one end of the swamp to the other to save her brother from turning into all right, in the house you go, Cheryl. Get going. Hope you can swim. <laughs> Cheryl knocked out four groups of skulls, so she has four bags waiting for her. She now has one minute to get those bags across. If not, Mike's going to hit the lava and become deep-fried squid. Oh, my. She's going to try and take all four bags across in one trip. That may be the way to go, Cheryl. At least you're balanced on both sides. Come on. Michael, say bye to your sister. All right, squids and crabs, fresh out of the swamp from hell. Cheryl, your squids, you got four bags out front, pretty good. What happened? Fell. I was expecting them to turn to the right, and they went to the left. Took a dip in the yeah. lava. Hey, that's all right. Amanda, you got two bags across there, went back for the third, and <laughs> what happened to you? I was about to fall, but I cut myself, and then I think I got ahead of myself, and I went for the worst. Not too bad, though. Ten points here, zero points here in Swamp from Hell. Let's check the numbers, see where we're at. At the end of two very scatty flights, the crabs take the lead over the squids, 20 to 10. Secrets of the Crib Keeper's Haunted House will return after these. Secrets of the Crib Keeper's Haunted House. We're back at Universal Studios Florida. The crabs lead the squids 20 to 10. I love doing this. It puts me in the perfect mood for our next game. The incredible shrinking room. <laughs> <laughs> ah, only the crabs are here looking for some precedence. Okay, Krabs, you have 40 seconds to solve these six word puzzles that deal with presents. Okay. For each one you solve correctly, we're gonna give you five okay. points. And if you solve all the word puzzles and scream out the top word, Jackson, you're gonna get a 10 point okay, bonus. Eight. The clock is ticking down, the walls are moving in. Crabs, I sure hope you're not claustrophobic. And in case you're wondering, that's the fear of tight places. And it looks pretty Find tight. You. Oh, crabs, you're all cracked up. Ran out of room, ran out of time. All right, let's see how you did, though. You got Jackson right, he was our seventh president. Washington was our what president? First. First. Roosevelt, you needed the V here. 26th and 32nd, Teddy and FDR. Niven, David Niven was never a president. I think he wanted an X for Nixon. And Adams, he needed the D, John Quincy and his son, John. And the last one was Hoover, you needed to know there. Hey, we're gonna give you five points for each one you got right. You got two right, 10 points added to your 20. Gives you what? 30. 30 points, squids, beat that. Oh, look, it's the Squid Kids looking for presidents. <laughs> okay, Squids, 40 seconds. Kennedy, Cheryl. Clinton. Six word puzzles, five points for each Clinton, correct Cheryl, answer. Clinton, Clinton, what do you need? L? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Truman, R, R. Right. They are screaming. Uh, C. Lincoln. C. 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 <laughs> uh, go, 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 go. In come the walls. Uh, Tight. Uh, hey. <laughs> Carter! Kennedy! 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 Oh, wow! Just in time. No squish squid here, you guys. Dropping yes. the knowledge on your keeper. Do you know your presidents? Let's find out. Got Kennedy right, our 35th president. Clinton is our 42nd president. Truman, our 33rd. Lincoln, our 16th. Jefferson was our what? Third. And Carter, our 39th. You guys got them all right. Five points for each. 30 points, you know what? You screamed out Kennedy in time, you're gonna kick in 10 bonus points. 40 points in all added to your 10, that adds up to what? 40? Oops. 50, 50 <laughs> points. <laughs> At the end of three frights, the squids take the lead over the crabs, 50 to 30. CK, what's up next? This next challenge coming up is even too scary for me. 
It's time once again for the abyss. All right, Robert, you're gonna have a minute and a half. You're gonna get five questions. You guys need to answer as many right as possible. Read it out loud. Tell Amanda the answer so she can climb and hit that button. All right, you guys, on your mark, get set, go. They say you shouldn't look down in a case like this, but how else can you see where you're going to hit? <laughs> Secret agent ID number. 007. Up. Oh. All right. Up. They're going for the 007. To the left. To the left. Ooh, I can't get enough of Other this. way. Other way. Other ladder. She's reaching. Come on. You can get it. You can get it. You can get it. Come on. There, there we go. All right. Up, up some. Up some. White is right. Five points moving on. In football, how many points do you get for kicking a field goal? What's the answer? Seven. They're going for the seven. 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 I know I shouldn't bats. laugh right the, now, the, uh, but right. I can't help it. <laughs> nice snag. Looking Still good, right. Amanda. You can get it. Oh. Red, it's wrong. Ma, what a surprise. In Monopoly, how many dollars do you get when you pass go? 200, go down, go down. Sounds like they know the answer to this one. Going for the 200. Oh no, do not pass go, do not get that $200. It was right, it was 200, you guys ran out of time. You got the James Bond question right, it was 007. Amanda though, you were going for that seven, I saw you. And the one you missed, in football, how many points do you get for kicking a field goal? Three. Three points for a field goal. That's all right. Hey, gonna give you five points for the one you got right. Added to your 30. 35 points. If at first you don't succeed, die, die again. <laughs> all right, with me out here in front of the mausoleum is Cheryl. What's up, Cheryl? You ready for this? Yeah. You guys know what to do. A minute and a half. Answer as many questions as possible. On your mark, get set, go. Here he goes. He's swinging in. Question number one. How many dwarves were friends with Snow White? Um, seven. Seven. Okay, I got it. Hold okay. on. Going for the seven. Makes the switch to ladder three there. Five points moving on. How many days past September, April, June, and November? 31. All right. Going for the 31. Um, there's no 31, and look at 30. 30? Yeah. You're changing your mind to 30? Yeah. Okay, they're changing their mind to 30. Somebody grease the ladder! No, sir. Whoa. Watch your step, buddy. <laughs> 10 points, move on to the next question. In basketball, how many points can you make with a slam dunk? Two! Okay. Not, like easy. Too. Not easy being suspended above that virtual abyss. It's a long way down. Okay, I see it. He sees it. He's going in for the slam dunk. Come on, Mike. They dumped that answer for five points. Moving on. Not included in the jokers. How many cards are there in the standard deck of playing cards? 52. 52, right there. All right, sounds like they know that one. Where I don't see it. Um, right on your right. Side 30. Oh, no! Mike, look to your immediate right there, buddy. Oh. Right in front of you. Oh, that was right. 52 was the right answer, you guys. No wrong answers. You just ran out of time. Going to give you five points for each one. That's 5, 10, 15 points. Way to go, you guys. Let's take a look at those scores. After four frights, the squids stay on top, 65 to 35. Secrets of the Crypt Keeper's Haunted House will return after these. And now, back to Secrets of the Crypt Keeper's Haunted House! Welcome back, where the squids hold a 30-point lead over the crabs, 65 to 35. All right. Hey, man, you gotta keep up with me. Here's the game that's guaranteed to give you goosebumps. It's called Skullduggery, and it's our fifth and final game. So hang with me, come on. Robert, are you ready? Yeah. Cheryl, are you ready? Yeah. The crabs and the squids are in the house. You guys know what's up, right? Collect as many skulls as possible, put them in those bags, see in the front yard. You guys trail by 30 points, but guess what? This is worth 50. This is for all the bones. Light up those lights for me. Get it going. When I say go, you guys are going through the secret passage. 
go! It's playtime, kiddies! <laughs> Robert and Cheryl on Dreadful! This is the Cheryl, master Cheryl. dead room! Look, look, look at the comments, Cheryl! Look at the comments! The crabs trail 35 to 65, but Skull Duggery's worth 50 points, so it's anybody's game! Get it going. All right, Cheryl, look at her. Cheryl, look at the You're the now in the mummy's look tomb. Look Remember, Cheryl. you need to collect look as many skulls as possible. Look at the crop, Cheryl. Look at the crop. Look underneath everything you see. Hey, that buzzer means you're going upstairs to the Hall of Horrors. And watch out. This is where the skull snatchers live. And they want what's in your bags. These guys are hiding everywhere, so watch out. Watch out. Okay, right now you're going down to the dungeon. You need to climb down the cargo net and then down the pole. And this is your last chance to collect skulls. We have a nice consolation prize for the losers. We let them live. <laughs> All right, you guys, don't forget about the second half of this challenge. It takes place out front in the graveyard. It's the mad dash to see who can stack their skulls to the top of the stick first. Look at, look at all right, you guys, this is the next hallway. It doesn't get any better than this. All right, Robert. The squids, the crabs, right, going right, head to head right now. We're waiting for Cheryl. There she is. Oh, yeah. We're waiting for Michael. There he is. Come on, Michael. Come on, Robert. Robert, I'm sorry. The team that sticks their skulls to the top of the stakes first. They're gonna be our champ. All right, how are we doing here? The squids led it 65 to 35, but it doesn't matter, this baby's worth 50. It looks like the squids are gonna stack this to the top first. It comes down to a count. It's close. I think we got a tie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They stack to the top the first. Give it up for the squids. Way to go, you guys. Way to go. Nice try, you guys. Hey, they got, we got no losers here. There are no losers on this show because we're giving away some killer prizes. Check them out. Good job, guys. Today's winners receive the new Macintosh Performer 6300 with CD-ROM and power PC processor at 100 megahertz from Apple. Our runners-up receive the current edition of Grolia's New Book of Knowledge, an encyclopedia in 21 volumes with over 2,000 entries and 1 million illustrations. And don't go away, man. Just, just go away. away! Yeah, just go away. Until next week, rest in peace. Production assistance provided by Universal Studios Florida. Till it's over, creeps. And it's over.